British politics is a complete mess right now. We need someone that has heart, someone that will look out for your everyday Joe, not just the top 1%. We need someone that is a man of the people. Also, preferably someone that's not a Tory. Today, we talk about the intergalactic space lord that has also ran as an MP in British Parliament. We are talking about Lord Buckethead. Hello! Welcome to Brain Spill, the latest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and you're probably wondering who the hell this guy is, why he's got a bucket on his head, and why he's an intergalactic space lord. And we're going to talk about all those things today. Yes, we're diving into the very interesting world of British politics. Yes, I don't think anyone has ever uttered those words in their life before. But, when you've got someone like this involved on the ballot, things are going to get pretty interesting. And you'd be correct. In British politics, there is ample opportunity for a candidate to run either as an independent or even register their own political party, provided you meet a few basic requirements. This allows a joke or satirical candidate to run for the elections, such as the now infamous monster raving loony party, a man dressed as a fish finger, or even Elmo himself. Yes. Elmo, I mean, when you're conducting an interview and you've got this thing staring down your soul, you know you're going to be in for a rough day. What I think is absolutely brilliant about British politics is not only the fact that whenever they announce the results live on air, you can see people literally lose their jobs on TV, but the second best thing is when all the candidates line up in a row, you get to see every single person that ran for a certain seat, and on election night, it's pretty interesting. And yes, this even includes all the joke candidates that run in certain seats on election night. Whilst many of the joke candidates may only get a couple of hundred votes each, compared to the thousands of votes that the more established parties gain, imagine running against a well-known political figure and making history at the same time. That is exactly what Lord Buckethead did in 1987 when he ran against Margaret Thatcher in the general election at the time. So, who is Lord Buckethead and where did he come from? It's a pretty interesting and not really well-known story, so let's get into it. Lord Buckethead was originally created by American filmmaker Todd Durham for his 1984 science fiction film Hyperspace, a parody of the Star Wars franchise. And as you can tell from this very reminiscent poster and the fact that it looks awfully familiar to Darth Vader, except more bucket head shaped, the resemblance is uncanny. May I help you? Mike Lee, the British video distributor of the movie, seemed to like Lord Buckethead, so much that he adopted the character and formed the Gremloids party who ran against Margaret Thatcher at Parliament in Finchley in 1987. And yes, just in case you don't believe me, here is photo proof. And he also ran against John Major in the 1992 election as well. Now, this video would be nothing if we didn't talk about some of the campaign pledges that Lord Buckethead had during his time. Let me just read some of the more interesting ones to you. <clears throat> so, um, one campaign pledge said that Lord Buckethead made it his goal to seek that Birmingham would be completely demolished and make way for a spaceport. That is a man that has my vote. And what a stroke of genius this was. This guy is an intergalactic space lord that decides to run in the UK general election. This film should have gained an extra 10% rating on Rotten Tomatoes just for that fact alone. He received about 131 votes in the 1982 election and 107 votes in the 1992 election. That works out about 0.1% of the entire votes. And you thought politics was boring. And since then, we didn't really see much of our Dark Lord. Until now. In 2017, Theresa May, the would-be Prime Minister, was running for her seat in Maidenhead, and it just so happened be that the Dark Lord descended from the stars and decided to run again on this general election trial, at the same seat that Theresa May was running for, which was brilliant. This time, a different comedian had taken the reins, Jonathan Harvey, who stood as Lord Buckethead against Theresa May. Harvey decided to use Lord Buckethead after watching Gremloids and discovering that the character had already been used in earlier elections. Lord Buckethead's manifesto in 2017 promised strong, not entirely stable leadership, with campaign pledges such as reducing the voting age to 16 and restricting voting beyond the age of 80. 
the abolition of the House of Lords, with the exception of Lord Buckethead, and pretty much the immediate ceasing of arms sales to Saudi Arabia, so that Britain can purchase laser weaponry from Lord Buckethead instead. I think by far one of my favourite campaign pledges was, uh, let me just check exactly what he said, he was going to uh, <clears throat> exile Katie Hopkins to the Phantom Zone. That is brilliant. Almost as good as demolishing Birmingham. In the 2017 election, he received 249 votes, which was about 0.4% of the votes, and to be honest, with an improvement like that, if people keep voting for Lord Buckethead, who knows where he might be one day. All I know is that maybe in a few elections to come, he might actually be getting up there with the big dogs, which means that if I pledge my allegiance to Lord Buckethead right now, when he inevitably becomes Prime Minister, I will be spared from his fiery wrath. Yeah, go Gremloids! Yes, as fantastic as this election run was, and the fact that he only lost narrowly by 37,469 votes, it was pretty damn close. This time, however, the fact that Lord Buckethead was stood on the same stage as Theresa May added to the virality of the whole facade, and everybody discovering who Lord Buckethead actually was. The comedian even created a Twitter account for him, and he even starred on John Oliver's Last Week Tonight show. This is all pretty impressive, but I think the most impressive thing of all is in 2017, that same year, he released a Christmas song. Yep. Many people don't know he released a Christmas song, for reasons I will explain shortly, but it's out there, you can watch it, and if you really want to see it, um, link in the sources. However, as you may notice, the video is currently unlisted, and that's for one very good reason. Yes, this had something to do with the fact that Jonathan Harvey and Mike Lee, who used the characters of Lord Buckethead, both did it without permission. Todd Durham, the original filmmaker of The Space Lord himself, shortly after the 2017 election, asserted his ownership over the rights of the character, meaning that Jonathan Harvey was no longer allowed to use the Space Lord Buckethead in the future. Sad times. Durham did have a proviso to this and said that even though he owned the rights to Lord Buckethead, people could still dress as Lord Buckethead going forward, and provided that they had permission, then people could still do this, particularly when it came to running in general elections. This led to the 2019 election, when Lord Buckethead was then played by David Hughes, which was specifically set up to call on a second referendum for that dreaded Brexit shenanigans. He was originally going to stand against Nigel Farage for the South East England MP seat in May 2019 for the European Parliament elections, but he abandoned the bid shortly after trying this because he realised that if he did this it might actually have a detrimental effect and pretty much split the vote on this very decisive issue. And then we have the 2019 general election, you know, the one that Boris Johnson ran in. We saw Lord Buckethead yet again at the opinion polls. This time he would stand against Boris Johnson in his Oaksbridge and South Roy slip seat. However, our man Jonathan Harvey, who ran as Lord Buckethead in the 2017 election, also ran in the 2019 election. But this time he came with a new character called Count Binface. An awfully familiar character to that of Lord Buckethead, but fair enough. I imagine this had something to do with the copyright and legal wranglings he was part of before, so he decided to create his completely new, unique, original character that is largely based on Lord Buckethead, who was largely based on Darth Vader. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. And yes, whilst neither of them have actually won a seat as of yet, you know what? There's still time. I'm sure if the people of our country band together and decide to bow down to the intergalactic space lord, we might have ourselves well, potentially, a space lord as an MP, which I think would make British politics just that bit more interesting. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas for what topics you'd like to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. So yes, neither Count Binface or Lord Buckethead have won an election bid to date, However, with stats like this, and constantly beating the odds again and again and again, it might take some time, but persistence is key. And somehow, if one of them can get a winning seat, then the Gremloids will rise once again. Just uh, put my allegiance out there right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.